Time is up for people to move out of a condemned high-rise apartment building in Newport News. A court order forced all residents out of Seaview lofts today. They say they only had 48 hours to pack up. Eugene Daniel has more on what's being done to help them. City officials say Seaview Lofts is officially closed. For now, residents are not allowed inside. Earlier tonight, city leaders and people in the community were trying to help those who have been displaced. They gave us two days, 48 hours to get out. Police, fire and code officials stood outside Seaview Lofts Friday, helping people grab last minute belongings out of the now condemned apartment building. On Wednesday, more than 100 residents, including elderly and children, came home to a letter saying a judge ruled the place they called home unsafe because the owner failed to address safety concerns. We just have tried to work with the owners of the property and they have just not been able to do what we needed to do. City manager Cindy Rolfe says concerns include a broken elevator and sprinkler system in the 15 story apartment. Rolf says people getting back into their homes now depends on the courts and the owner's ability to make the necessary fixes. But I can tell you, we will not allow people go back, go back into a building that's in the current condition. That's just not something that we can do safely. The fire department's been there. In the meantime, city staff and Department of Human Services are working the phones, getting people in hotels. But Rolf says housing vouchers provided by the city only last through July 6th, getting them through the holiday weekend. We want to know what happens after Wednesday. It's a question city leaders say is still being worked out. I'm hoping that more people will come out and just do more than pray. There are other things that we can do. Support the best way you can. Pastor Norman Cunningham lives in the community and he and Sheree Johnson, who runs a nonprofit, are teaming up with Councilwoman Tina Vig to offer food, pampers and gift cards. Linda Williams, who's lived at Seaview Lost for 13 years, is thankful for any help she can get. Well, that was nice and that was a blessing. But we need all the blessings we could have because the way they did is is unjustified. In Newport News, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. The law firm representing the owner of Seaview Loft says the owner is working diligently to resolve the city's concerns and that global supply chain issues are causing delays and repairs.